All right, RC Racing Innovations here. Just gonna do a quick overview on the steering setup. As you see, uh, you got a push and pull pivot. We have a collar on here on both sides, and we have a spring load right on both sides. These little easy connectors, they have a set screw on top. Um, you can set it up multiple ways. You could have a longer shaft, which we provide with that you can have a spring in the back that's going to give more push forward and then push back you can put them on this way um, you can leave the set screws out on the uh, easy collars so that when it moves forward and back they actually slide in and out so there's no binding look how smooth the steering moves So not using the uh, set screws and the easy collars uh, gives you, if there's any kind of bind movement or anything that is uh, needs a little bit more smoothment, you can actually leave those off and the shaft is going to slide in and out of that easy connector nice and smooth. You just don't want to cut it too short that when it goes all the way to one side it doesn't pop out. You just want just enough to keep it in there and a little extra. Right on the ball cups, slight little bit of uh, lube. Some lube down in your uh, triple tree where it bolts on. Screw the hole right there, the bolt. And we'll put some lube between the two triple tree plates. Those go through two steel bearings for a smooth pivot. So you just basically want to lube everything up, make sure you got a free range of motion, nothing's binding. And this is the result you're gonna get right here. Black Widow RC Drag Bike Pro Stock. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed.